dividing quantities by 10. Find one tenth of the cupcakes. What does that mean? Well, the line on a fraction means divided by, and our denominator is 10, so we need to divide the cupcakes by 10. Our first job is to find out how many cupcakes there are. So 20. 20 cupcakes divided by 10, which we can also write as 20 divided by 10. To divide by 10, we can use our times tables to count in tens and find how many lots of 10 there are. Let's tidy the cupcakes up and see. So two, there are two tens in 20. One tenth of 20 equals two. Find one tenth of 30, which is the same as saying 30 divided by 10, which we can also write as 30 divided by 10. Now we can divide by 10 using a place value grid. Every time we move a digit one place to the right, we're dividing by 10. We're making it 10 times smaller. So to divide 30 by 10, we move the digits one place each to the right. 1 tenth of 30, or 30 divided by 10, is 3. This time we're finding a tenth of 40 cupcakes. Remember, the line means divided by, so 40 divided by 10, which we can write as 40 divided by 10. So how many 10s in 40? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 10s in 40. 1 tenth of 40 is 4. Find one tenth of 80, and we're going to use the place value grid this time. This is the same as saying 80 divided by 10. To divide by 10, we move the digits one place each to the right. So one tenth of 80, or 80 divided by 10, is 8. What about one tenth of 60, which is the same as saying 60 divided by 10. So how many 10s in 60? Let's count the 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So there's six 10s in 60. One tenth of 60 is six. Finally, find one tenth of 100, which is 100 divided by 10. To divide by 10, we move the digits one place each to the right. So one tenth of 100 is 10. Try dividing one digit numbers by 10 next. 